So in this third part of the tactical video series of our IR sensor, we will take a closer look on how you can utilize the Nucleo stack and the presence detection library called Infrared PD to create a simple application demo. To get started with this tutorial, you need to download both the Xcube MEMS 1 expansion software package and Unicleo GUI visualization tool from st.com similarly to what we have done during the second tutorial. The Xcube MEMS 1 is also available to be downloaded from the GitHub repository. Before we jump onto the implementation of the demo, let us first dive into the library that we will be using for the IR sensor demo today. You'll also need to refer to the Infrared PD user manual during this tutorial. That can be found also from ST's website. The Infrared PD is a middleware library component of the Xcube MEMS1 software package, and it runs on STM32. It provides real-time information about the presence and the motion of the person inside the field of view of the IR sensor. It also provides the capability to compensate for object temperature with respect to the change in the ambient temperature. This block diagram illustrates the implementation and the architecture of the Infrared PD library. The Infrared PD library is comprised of three main parts. The ambient compensation of object temperature, the motion detection, and the presence detection. These components are executed through three different algorithms that run consecutively during each library iteration. The software library also allows performing compensation and motion and presence detection even if the reduced gain mode, which is also known as the white mode, is enabled, during which the embedded algorithms cannot be used. If the ambient temperature around the IR sensor changes significantly over the time it's operating, the output of the object temperature might not be accurate. These temperature changes that occur in the environment in thermal coupling with the sensor, for example, changes in the temperature of the PCB on which the sensor is mounted. To tackle this issue, a compensation algorithm based on ambient temperature or the T ambient data can be performed to improve the accuracy of the object temperature or the T object data. The library has algorithms that receive the object and the ambient temperature data from the sensor and give a more accurate object temperature that considers any temperature changes in the environment. There are three main options that can be fed into the compensation block. In case of fast T ambient variations, it is preferable to choose the nonlinear algorithm, which is also the default setting. This is based on the Stefan Boltzmann law. If there is a slow T ambient variation, you may choose the linear algorithm, which replicates the embedded algorithm and is a linear approximation of the Stefan Boltzmann law. If you choose to disable the compensation algorithm, the algorithms for presence and motion detection will be performed based on the raw data of the object. One thing to note here that the nonlinear algorithm cannot compensate changes that occur in an environment that is not in thermal coupling with the sensor. For instance, the effects that a heater or a cooler might have from distance for the sensor. The library also provides an option to filter the compensated object temperature data. This is important because compensation can introduce the noise of the T ambient output data in the compensated T object data. By default, the library uses a moving average filter to filter the compensated object temperature data. This filter helps to maintain the same signal to noise ratio as the raw object temperature data. But it can introduce a delay that depends on the ODR 
and the number of average samples for t object. The inferred pyramidal ware can be easily manipulated to build user applications. A sample application is provided in the application folder of the Xcube MEMS1 software package. To run this library, the hardware that you require are the expansion board stacked on a nucleo board. The compatible parts are listed here. For this demo, I am using a Xnucleo IKS01A3 expansion board with a Nucleo F401RE development board. You can then use the DIL24 adapter to connect the IR sensor through the flex cable. For this demo, we will be utilizing the LED2 by lighting it up whenever the presence is detected by the sensor. You can also utilize the Uniqlo GUI to visualize, validate, and collect any data for presence and motion during the evaluation. For us to customize and build on the inferred PD library, let's go ahead and import the library with the provided sample application code to STM32 Cube IDE environment. Once you go to the directory you have downloaded the Xcube MEMS1 software package at, go to the projects. Since I'm using the F401RE nuclear board, I'll go to that folder and click on applications. From here, you need to go to customs and select the presence detection STHS34PF80 part. Now, you can import the STM32Cube ID folder, which has the STM32Cube ID project file. Let us first take a look at the key parameters of the library that are defined in the header file. Some examples here are the used MCU type, the type of algorithm that is used for the compensation, the device and the algorithm configuration, then the input and the output of the library. You can also use these API functions to go through the process of the inferred PD API logic sequence. For the purpose of the demo, I will now define a variable which will store the value of the presence flag. With simple conditional statement, we can turn on the LED when the presence flag is high and turn it off when there is no presence. Now that you are ready for the demo, you can go ahead and build the project. Once you have built the project, you can flash your microcontroller with the newly updated firmware code. In this quick demonstration, we are showing a common application of occupancy sensing where you would want to know if there is a person inside the cubicle and would turn on the lights. The IR sensor here has been attached to the edge of the table in the cubicle and connected to the nucleo stack through the flex cable that goes to the PC with a mini USB cable and you can see the GUI. In the GUI, you can observe on the top hand side the ambient object and the compensated object temperature data. 
In the middle, we have the compensated object temperature change rate. While in the bottom, we have the flags for presence and motion detection. You can see here, as the user walks in the field of view, the T-object signal rises. Subsequently, the presence flag is set high, which then turns on the LED. Now, as the user walks out, the T-object signal starts to drop, and the presence flag is also low. That turns off the LED. So that was our demo. Thank you.